Learning and being a student cannot only happen in school. Something I've learned all my life is the fact that you cannot only learn in school. You have to be able to learn outside. You have to be able to learn new skills, tactics. And everyone always thought it was funny, but when I was in university, I remember sitting in my room like it was 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., homework's done, I'm just chilling at the crib. People would come in and I'm watching a YouTube video learning about some random thing in the world. And I remember watching like a Vox video about something. And one of my friends was like, wait, dude, this is for like a class, this documentary. I'm like, no, I just wanted to learn this, it's cool. He's like, why are you learning? I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, I just constantly like doing this, it's fun. But most people don't see it this way. They see it as just chill, watch entertainment. But again, learning can't only happen during school hours. Then you're never gonna get ahead in life. You're not gonna be learning new things. You're only gonna learn what the school system is teaching you. You need to be able to go out of your way and learn things you want to learn. And this goes back even when you're in elementary school, middle school. The kids that tend to get ahead are the kids who learn after school. They are in different clubs, extracurriculars. They go further in life because they're more busy. They're learning something else. They're building skills, soft skills, communication skills, even playing a sport after school. These things all help and it is really important. So again, learning should not only happen in the four walls of class, school, or university. Something really important, especially when you're at elementary or middle school, is the fact that there needs to be reinforcement. So when a student is learning something in elementary school or middle school in school and it gets reinforced forced after school, that's how learning is maintained and it sticks. But if that's not happening, it's really hard for kids to actually maintain that and stick to what they learned in class that day. That's why we get homework assignments. There also needs to be real world applications and understanding that when you learn something, you need to be able to apply that practical intelligence, that knowledge. And if you learn something in school, huh, I learned this thing. Now I can apply it in the real world and making sure that you are using that thing in the real world. Oh, they learned about chemistry and science and that this and this make this happen. Oh, so I put salt, baking soda, this together, it makes this. I even remember in a chemistry class when I was younger, we did like a cupcake experiment and it sounds silly, but we learned how heat can affect the cupcake and baking. And it was cool to learn that and it was practical and it was something that I learned. And then I remember going home and showing my mom and dad and they were impressed. They're like, oh wow, that's so cool that you learned that. Again, practical application of something you learned within the four walls of school. Learning as well outside of school teaches you problem solving skills. You need to be able to kind of deal with issues, problems, when they arise at home in the homework from what you learned. This is really important, again, to actually learn and make sure it sticks in your brain. Something that's really important is that when you're learning outside of just school, it's more diverse. You're not just learning math, science, history, but you could learn some random thing on the internet now, right? YouTube University can teach anything and everything. You can write how to and learn whatever it is you need to learn. And again, this is really important for your knowledge of life and being able to know different things in life. And again, you can learn different cultures. You could even learn about a culture in Africa that you've never even heard of before, but you can learn about it on YouTube. So again, take advantage of that. Make sure you do learn after school. And again, now more than ever, it could be a tailored learning experience. You can actually learn things online that are so niche and so specific to what you're interested in. Take advantage of that. This lifelong learning mindset is so important. And I was told once that having a growth mindset is one of the most important things in knowledge and constantly learning. And then you'll learn soft skills. You'll learn leadership skills. Sports even can teach that. But make sure you do different things outside of just the four walls of classes or school. Because again, learning is a lifelong experience and learning is the most important thing for us. Without knowledge, we can't do anything else. Knowledge is power, so make sure you go out there and get some knowledge. One of the most special experiences that I've learned in my journey of knowledge and learning is learning about other people, learning about other people's experiences, is talking to other people, networking, allowing myself to interact with so many different types of people. And in doing so has allowed me to become a more complete human being. So again, thank you guys again for tuning in to another episode here. I love talking about different things in society, culture. Please feel free to comment down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video. And again, I look forward to making more content for you guys. Again, I love doing this. Leave really cool comments. And again, if I miss something you guys want to add to it, please feel free. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week. See you later.